Today's video is brought to you by Solder Stick. They have solutions for connecting wires to other wires, terminals, or anything else you can think of. There will be a short video explaining more about them at the end. Now enjoy our regular video. Hey, what's up guys? I bet you're wondering what we're all doing here, looking at this dot on an OLED screen. Well, let me tell you. This little device that I've created for you is in fact not a game, but is an Arduino based level that works in two axes. So I guess that would be a level and a plumb bob. But it's pretty simple and I'm going to show you how I did it. This is a, a GY61 or an uh, ADXL335. That is a uh, digital accelerometer. You can see it has three axes here. X, maybe you can see if I get closer, huh? X, Y, and Z. And then we have a uh, 0.96 I squared C based OLED here to display the output. And the code, which we're gonna take a look at in just a couple minutes, is incredibly simple. So, first of all, let me disconnect here, shed some more light on the subject. Oh, that's bright. How about that? And now, we can talk about the connections. So, let's start with the uh, ADXL335. I'm going to pull it out here so you can see the back of it. Hold on. Yeah, you got to make really sure that you've got your VCC and ground correct because depending on who you buy them from, these can be swapped. So just make sure you take a look at them first. Okay? So those are all the connections we have. Let's go over to the computer and we'll talk about the sketch. It's not very hard either. <laughs> Alright, before we get to the computer, well, today is the first day I'm about to use this new USB condenser microphone here, which I've got all nice and set up right here in front of the computer for me, but oh no, now I can't see the computer. I'm going to have to work this out. All right, so here's the code for the digital spirit level version two, version one we did back in uh, 2017, I think. Anyway, there's some contact information if you have any questions, and we'll start the sketch with the libraries. We have two libraries we're using, Wire, which is our I squared C library, and Adafruit SSD 1306, which is the graphics and drivers and all that stuff that we need to drive the OLED. This lets us talk to the OLED. This tells gives us the tools to do it this is this is the pipe this is the stuff we need to send through the pipe hope that makes sense all right next we have one define which is oled underscore reset at pin four that's how it resets the oled so just be careful you're not using pin four for anything else or you might get an error then we're going to create an instance of the library the adafruit ssd 1306 that we talked about right there we are going to call it display with a dependent of OLED reset, which is right here at pin number four. So now we have set everything up. We've told the Arduino what we're gonna do. So now we need to set up some variables. We're gonna be using float variables, you know, variables with a decimal point in them because we need that precision because we're doing a level. So those are float variables. We have X zero, and that's the initial reading of our X. We have Y zero, which is the initial reading of our Y. Then we have X now and Y now, which are the current readings. So we took an initial reading and that's something else you have to keep in mind when you're uh, doing this is you need to power this up in a level condition because it is going to take uh, that reading initially and base everything else off on it. So make sure you, you just start it off on a good flat surface. Now we have our X plot and Y plot values, and those are simply the differences from center, which is our initial reading. So X plot 
and y plot would be these uh, minus those. All right, so now we get into the setup and we're gonna tell the Arduino what's connected to it and where. So display began, that means we're gonna turn on our OLED using this library at this hexadecimal address. Now we're using the Adafruit library, so it is important that if you're not using an Adafruit OLED, that you change this final character here in the address, which would be D as in dog originally, to C as in cat for the cheap Chinese ones. Otherwise, it's just not gonna work. Then we do a display display, which shows us what's going on on the display. And we clear the display, and then we're gonna wait a second. Everything's good to go. Now we're gonna take our initial readings. X0 is an analog read which means it can be any value from uh, what zero or one, yeah, zero to one, oh, two, three. And the same with our Y value. And then we're gonna wait one more second. So when you first power this up, make sure it is on a flat surface and you give it four or five seconds before you start checking anything. So now we're gonna get to the loop, which is the logic, the main part of our program. And we're gonna read our current values, X now and Y now. And then we are going to draw a circle. So on our display, remember display, uh, right here. This is where we set up our library. So on our display, we wanted to draw a circle. That command draw circle comes from this library. That's, that's why we need the two libraries. Where am I at? We're going to draw a circle. And this is the bullseye that marks the center of our screen. It is at 64. 32 with a radius of 10 and our color is white and now we're going to do our um, calculations for the level so we're going to say if x now our current value of x is greater than x zero our our initial value plus five that gives us a little buffer then x plot our difference is x now minus x zero plus 64, our center point. Y works the same way. And now all that we need to do is draw our filled circle where it needs to be. So we're gonna say display filled circle, which is another one of those commands from the SSD 1306 library, X plot and Y plot, which is our differences from center with a radius of eight. So it is inside the circle in a color of white. We're going to wait a half a second and then we're going to show you what's on the display and then we're going to clear the display and then we're going to start this whole loop over again and that is it that's the digital level pretty simple right i think so all right now you know how everything works so let's power it up and hopefully my uh, demonstration and explanation made sense to you. So we're on a relatively flat surface. Power it up. They're going to give it, you know, just a few seconds. And now we're ready. So remember, the first thing it did was it took an initial reading. And it, sell, it stored that initial reading in a variable. Then it drew this circle, the outer circle. If I uh, bring this up close, maybe you can see the difference. Yeah, you see the inner circle and the outer circle? So it took its initial reading from the uh, ADXL335. Then it drew its initial circle. Then it took another reading, that's a, that is our current reading, and it draws the inner circle in the current reading. So basically we have two readings. The initial reading, which is the outer circle, and the current reading, which is the new circle. So now we have a simple level that does two axes. And yes, it can do them both at the same time, as you can see. If this is too slow for you, you know, you can mess around with those delays and uh, 
do whatever you need to do to make it work. Yeah, if you don't see a ball in the hole or somewhere on the screen, you're very far from being level. Now, here's a cool thing. This is, this is an accelerometer, not just a gyro, so... See that? You can make that ball move all over the place just by boinking it. Alright guys, if you like this video, I hope that you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. A huge thank to Solder Stick. Man, where would I be without those guys? Thank you so much, Solder Sticks, for supporting this video. If you don't know anything about Solder Stick, check out this little video at the end here that's going to tell you about them. And if they sell a product that you think might be useful to you, please uh, give, them a, you know, give them your business and tell them I sent you. Okay? All right, guys. That's all I got. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, just thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. That's it. I'm out. Peace. We've all been there, right? We've all spliced a set of wires together and either used some electrical tape or a wire nut or something to connect them together. There's always a better way. If you need them permanently connected, I suggest the solder stick, uh, solder connectors where you heat them up with a heat gun and they melt together. But if you need something a little less permanent, spade connectors. We have a male and a female connector which fit together uh, like so. You crimp those onto the ends of your wires and you, you look like you know what you're doing. And have you ever come across something like this where the wires have been stripped, focus, and just crushed underneath a screw to hold them in place? Well, time and temperature will cause those wires to move and flex and eventually come loose, which can definitely lead to a hazard. In that case, something like the solder stick ring connectors are just what the doctor ordered. Crimp these guys on your wire. They have them for all different size wires. Heat them up. This heat shrink will shrink down, giving you a nice insulated connection to your wire that you can then put underneath that screw and have a nice professional looking solution. Solder stick. You can see their website right there. www.solderstick.com Check them out. See if they have a project or a product that works for you.